Hey guys, this is Ash, and you're watching Ride a Gash. So, this is my September wrap up, and I haven't had a good reading month in September. There's been like so much homework from school, and I'm kind of drowning in it. September, I did read a lot of books, but the last few books I read weren't something I enjoyed. I did read one fantastic book this month. Anyways, so the first book I read this month was Lucky in Love by Casey West, which was really fun. I liked the book space and it was fine. It was an enjoyable read and I got through it in one day. And then I picked up First Impressions by Nora Roberts, which was a little bit insta lovey, but I didn't hate it. I kind of enjoyed it, but it's not something that I would read again. It's It was a good contemporary, just felt a little insta lovey to me, but it was fun. It was a fun book. And came my favorite book this month, uh, which was Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Maas, and it was just fantastic. I have to say, Irene is like now my one of my top favorite characters, and I like Kale a bit more than I used to like him, but he's still not my favorite, and something he did in this book really bugs me, even though... I mean, I like the end result of it, and the book was amazing, and it didn't have a... And it just, like, it was just one of the best Sarah J. Maas books I've read. Akumaf is still on top of the list, but this was fantastic. The next book I read this month was A Burglar's Guide to a City, and it was by Manak Geoff. I enjoyed it far more than I thought I would. I mean, it's not the kind of book I normally read, and it's got like these tales about how these burglars used to break into places. It was interesting to see how someone like that thinks, their thought processes. It was just fantastically interesting. And I mean, it's not like I have those kind of thoughts. I have a hard time seeing things from that perspective, but I really enjoyed reading from that perspective. And I I kind of joined this book club at my college and they were, uh, so we had to read Alice in the Wonderland which was well not something I enjoyed I really did not enjoy it for some reason I mean I usually love these kind of stories but it was it didn't resonate with me at all and I couldn't get into it it was like, it wasn't something I found myself losing myself in. And it was only 70-some pages, and I had a hard time getting through those 70 pages. It took me, like, half the month to get through those 70 pages. It took me a lot longer to read Alice in, the One Alice in Wonderland than it took me to read Tower of Dawn. And Tower of Dawn and Alice in Wonderland, if you keep the two books together, you'll see which one is, well, longer. And the final book I read this month was Orlando by Virginia Woolf. It was part of my diversity challenge to myself where I had to read a classic book this month with a bisexual character. Again, I did not enjoy it. I'm not the biggest fan of classics and I have yet to come across a classic that I've enjoyed. It's just, I have a hard time reading them. I have a hard time getting through them. And it's not something I personally enjoy, but I'm pretty sure the people who like classics would love this book. The book isn't bad, but I have a hard time reading classics. Anyway, so that's all I read this month. And, and for the next month, I really need to pick up the Trials of Polo book because the third book in the Magnus Trees series is coming out and I want to finish this one before I start that one. Also, I need to read another book for book club and I need to find a non-fiction book to read. Whoa, I have to read a non-fiction book. Which is hard for me because, again, I don't really like non-fiction and classics because I don't connect with the characters as well as I do for the other series. So it's gonna be a little hard, but I'm gonna make it through it. Anyways, that's it for this video. Bye!